so if somebody wants an assistive device, in your experience, what are the assistive devices for people who have falling problems? So canes and walkers, mm-hmm. what are some of the other ones, would you say? I would call that more like adaptive equipment. So uh, I guess okay. um, to help any client with any adherence to wearing what they're recommended to wear by an orthotist or a doctor. That is definitely something we can help doing, especially I worked a little in a orthopedic unit. And so they would get a lot of devices that they were just so complex. Yeah. You almost needed to repeat it over and over again, especially sometimes when people are also taking medication, sometimes they're not taking all the information in as well. So something else to just keep in mind. Yeah, it can be a lot, especially like if you're in the hospital, how many people come and visit you? So many people. So unless you're recording the whole thing, you're going to forget some of it. I jokingly say, and if anybody's seen any other videos we've done that I can't necessarily always remember what I, the shoes I wore three years, three days ago. Right. You know, so then how does someone remember everything? It's really hard. By the way, do occupational therapists, do they make these sockets or is that a prefabricated thing you just get on online? Usually they're purchased online, but OTs are known for being very resourceful. I know we had a class where we had to try to make all the adaptive equipment um, because sometimes you Mm want to just have it on hand and some people may not be able to afford all these things you're recommending. So that was actually one I did and I made it out of like a a detergent bottle (laughs) and some rope and but usually you buy them, <laughs> but it's okay. possible. So the um, socket, can you discuss what that is to people that might be interested? I mean, it, it the word, the name gives it away, but can you talk a little bit more about the process? So socket essentially is this plastic device and it's attached to usually two pieces of string would be recommended to someone who may have back pain or issues bending down or can't reach their their feet to put their socks on or if they're not able to bring their foot up either which is very difficult you need to have some good range of motion in your hips so you would it's something you can do just sitting on the side of your bed or in a chair if you had the sockade in one hand you would apply the sock onto it and then you could just with your two ropes while holding onto them and then with your foot you would be able to put it into kind of the plastic device with that the sock is covering. And then you what would kind of just onto the sock. What holds the sock on? So that's a, a plastic piece. And usually at the very end, it's almost like a, it's not sandpaper, but it's something that kind of holds onto it over the heel. As you continue pulling, it gets over the heel and then it comes out. What about long handled shoehorns? Is that something an OT rarely recommends or usually recommends or? Yeah, very similar. They usually go hand in hand unless you have more of a slip on shoe, which we wouldn't recommend because it may not, if you're a fall risk or a person who is worried about falls, you should probably have supportive shoes that are tighter and aren't slip on. So if you can't, again, like bend over, have back pain, don't want to bend over because that will ignite that back pain. This is something that you would be able to do, again, sitting from the side of your bed or in a chair to be able to get your shoe on. 